Hey, I'm Rye Chris for CNET, and today we're taking a look at the Wolfgang Puck Pressure Oven. This is a $249 countertop appliance that combines the capabilities of a pressure cooker with the convenience and versatility of a countertop toaster oven. So this is a pretty powerful machine. A lot of energy goes into making your food when you use this thing. It's going to use the pressure that escapes your food as you heat it and trap it inside the way a pressure cooker does to speed up cooking time and infuse flavor and moisture into your meal. I spoke with Chef Puck over Skype earlier this week to talk about his oven. Here's some of what he had to say. I thought like three, four years ago, I said, wouldn't it be great if somebody could help me develop an oven more for the restaurant first, where you could roast, for example, a chicken. Everybody in the restaurant says, I want a great roasted chicken. And people talk about it like it's the second coming. Then they said, you know what, this is perfect for the home use. Let me show you how this thing works. You're going to press this button down here to open the door, just sort of like a microwave. You'll put your food in, set the temperature and the time, and cook normally if you want. But if you want to pressure cook your food, you'll also need to set this vent to the sealed position and then seal the oven with this lever here. When you're finished pressure cooking and you want to take your food out, you'll need to vent the machine first. You'll do that by switching the gasket over to vent mode, letting all that heat that's built up escape, and then you'll unseal it, open it, take it out, it'll be fine. But if you don't do that, you risk scalding yourself. So there is a little bit of extra care involved with using this machine. Now this oven claims that it can cook a 14 pound turkey in under an hour in the pressure cooking mode. We can't wait to try that out in our test kitchen and when we publish the full review in the coming weeks, we'll be sure to let you know how it does. For CNET, I'm Ry Chris.